Hello everyone, this is Megan here from the Butterbean Shop. Sorry, I'm trying to focus this camera. I want to get a new camera, but you know, I work with what I have right now. I have a Nikon D3200 and unfortunately it doesn't have a viewfinder, so I'm kind of at the, uh, you know, I'm kind of like, an, I, I'm, I'm I want to invest in a new camera, but not yet. I have a couple of um, other investments I want to make first. But anyway, um, let me put this on mute. Welcome back to the Butterbean Shop, guys. I am going to make a cold process soap for you today. This is actually one of the very first soaps that um, I cold process soaps that I made. I used to make a lot of hot process soap and then I chose to start making cold process soap and I fell in love with it and I haven't made hot process since even even though I'm, I'm gonna um, start doing that again um, anyway it's a special blend of fragrance uh, oils uh, that I put together a long long time ago and it's um, my version is called thirst quencher but really it's a mix of pink grapefruit and Daisy Chain by Marc Jacobs. It's, it's such a beautiful blend of fruity, citrusy, and floral, and it's absolutely one of my favorites. And I don't know why I waited so long to film making it, but now I'm gonna film it. Um, but very, very beautiful blend, and yeah. So I'm gonna recreate it. I am going to, I forgot to get my white here, but I'm going to use the same color combination that I did before for the um, older, for my previous versions. It's gonna be white as the base, and then I have purple, which is gonna be um, Harold's Purple Crayon, and then I have pink, which is gonna be Hot Pants, and then I have yellow which is going to be bright yellow raincoat so all of my micas today are from mad micas and then my titanium dioxide i got this from rustic essentials and it's my favorite i've tried them from brambleberry i've tried them from tkb i've tried them from um nurture nurture is pretty good too but um, I really like the Rustic Essentials one. For some reason, it just seems a little bit more potent. I don't know. Anyway, um, I also have a new stick blender. Well, it's not new, but I haven't used it in a long time because my Epica one that I usually use, I dropped it and it broke. I ordered a new one, but it won't be here until Wednesday. So in the meantime, I'm gonna use my Cuisinart. My Cuisinart one. Um, which is still really really a really good one okay so in here I have my melted oils they are at room temperature I have some colloidal oatmeal and some white kale and clay I'm going to mix that up and then I'm going to add my milks which is a combination of goat milk and coconut milk and then I have my lye solution which is aloe tessa silk and sodium lactate so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'll let the music play for you so you don't hear the stick blending and I will bring you back when I separate my um, soap batter out for colors. So just to let you know, I'm only going to bring it up to an emulsion. I'm not going to bring it to trace because I want to have time to work. All right. I'll see you in a minute. brought this up to an emulsion. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, it's kind of warm. I don't know why. Maybe because it's warm in here today. But 
um, yeah, the, the um, room temperature is probably around 80 degrees. It's probably why it's warm. I usually soak that around 76, 70, 75, something like that. Anyway, so now that I have um, brought this up to an emulsion, I'm going to separate this out for colors. Okay. So, oh, I haven't soaked in a couple of weeks, you guys, so I'm a little rusty. That's what happens when you don't soak for a while. You get a little bit rusty. That's okay. I'll get my groove back in a second. <laughs> I've had a couple of releases and I've had some other products that I was um, formulating and testing out. So I haven't really had time to um, soak. And I don't know when you guys are gonna see this video. Um, I might skip the order and have you guys um, look at this video and then work my way backwards. I don't know. It just all, it's just depends on what I've got going on actually. When you're a one woman show, you have to do everything. And sometimes you fall behind. So I'm behind a little bit on my video editing and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll catch myself up. So here will be the white. Go ahead and pour that in. And then here is the in my fragrance oil now I know for a fact that this fragrance oil does not accelerate I've made this soap many times before so I'll go ahead and stir it in it doesn't accelerate it doesn't cause any rising it actually kind of slows down trace um, so I'm gonna mix this in really well I'm gonna start my pour. I'm going to do a hanger swirl in this, which is what I've always done with this uh, soap. I think I've gotten a little better with my hanger swirl since I started making it. So hopefully this turns out how I want it to. We'll see, won't we? Okay, so I have my um, workshop heritage mold here. Let me move these over to the side and push this up so you can get a view. Pearl, pearl, pearl. What is going on with me, guys? Can't speak to save my life today. <laughs> Thank you, Sayla. 
Okay, so go ahead and pour the white.
some glitter on there, some fairy dust. Let me go get some. This is Sparkle Me Plenty from Mad Micah's. It's a fairy duster. I love the iridescence of this. Let me take off my glasses. I think we're done now. Oh, you know, let me do that. Okay. Right now, there's fairy dust everywhere, but that's okay. I can be dusted with some fairy dust, not a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off with, if I can find my rubbing alcohol, that would be great. No idea. Oh, here it goes, right in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this off with 99% isopropyl alcohol to prevent soda ash from forming, and then we'll put this baby to sleep, and I will bring you back in for the cut. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in a second. Hello everyone, this is Megan here from the Butterbean Shop. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be cutting the Thirst Quencher soap that I made yesterday. And um, it is absolutely one of my favorites. It was, basic, it was one of the first um, soaps that I made cold process. And absolutely love it. It's such a pretty fragrance. It's very feminine. It's a very good mix of um, fruity and floral, which is my favorite. And it just has such a feminine smell to it. It's just so pretty. And um, it's citrusy, tangy, yet it has that floral sweet note to it that's very, very nice. So it is absolutely one of my favorites. Um, yeah, I just, I absolutely love it. Um, so let's get to cutting so we can see what this baby looks like on the inside. Here goes the, um, the one of the loaves I split, the top. You guys can see the top really well. But it's um, that swirl that I like to do, that simple swirl that I like to do on the top. Um, and I did a hanger swirl. It doesn't look like anything right now, but hopefully it'll get better as we go. Um, and it does, look at that. Now this stayed really fluid. Um, so I was able to get a lot of different types of swirls in this because the um, batter stayed really fluid. So it gave a lot of like thin looking swirls. Um, which, you know, I like too. It's like a mar more marbly, thin looking swirls. Uh, but yeah, if you like what you see in here, please go ahead and click the thumbs up button. If you would like to see more of what I do on my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. If you want to be notified of the content um, I upload when I upload it, please go ahead and click the bell. Um, I appreciate you so much for joining me and watching um, what I make. And until next time, guys, take care.